Okay, nice job. This is the last exercise for lesson six, calorie recommendations. This page contains two tables showing the USDA's recommended daily calorie intake for teens age 13 to 18. The first table shows the calories for females. The second table shows the calories for males. The goal is to style the tables such that the rows for inactive and active calorie counts are different colors and the table for females is a different color scheme than the table for males. It is possible to do this by only using four rules, combining the ID and class of the rows. The rules will select particular classes that are descendants of containers with a particular ID. Okay, so we already talked about this concept of descendants and the family tree. We're basically trying to style these two tables so that they're completely different color schemes and in each table the inactive and very active row should be different so basically just how you see here our job is to add three more css rules to change the background colors of the columns such that the active row in the female table is c green the inactive row in the female table is medium aquamarine and the inactive rows in the male table is peru Okay, so the first rule for changing the background color for active in the male table has been provided to us and our final page should look like this. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So if we run this now, we can see that there is no color for the inactive or very active on the female table and no color on the inactive for the male table. So we have an example to go off of here and that should be in our style sheet. So let's go ahead and find that. Okay, so it looks like the active row for male is set up to grab all of the active classes inside of the elements or element that has the male ID. So if we go back and take a look at our HTML, we can see that the table here has the ID of male and basically this is grabbing this whole row that has the class of active. Okay, so combining the ID up here with the class inside of that element. All right, so pretty simple. We're gonna do the same thing for the rest of the rows that need to be colored in. Okay, so let's start with the female table. Um, the table has a ID of female and to grab the active row, we'll do the same thing that we did for the male table. Okay, so just space and then the class active. The color for that is C green, so just color for the property and C green for the value. Okay, let's do the same thing for the inactive. The color is going to be medium aquamarine. And then finally, we still need to color one more row on the male table. And that's going to be, oops, don't forget the class, the inactive row. And that color is going to be Peru. Okay, I just realized that I used the wrong property. We are actually changing the background color, not the font color. So if you're following along with me, please go back and make that correction. Okay, so background color. If we just left it as color, it would change the font color, um, not the background. So let's run that and take a look. Okay, looks good. Very nice work on combining CSS selectors. This was actually pretty advanced. Okay, we're in the advanced unit and we just kicked up our CSS um, knowledge to a whole other level. Very nice work, everyone. Any questions, leave it in a comment, please.